Okay, so today what I want to do is to continue on with the implementation of the render system. Now, the last session I did add uh, the initial implementation of the entity list, which is, the purpose was to track across component pools, across different systems, which entities had their component data on which pools modified. So the first uh, item on the agenda, uh, such as it is, is to deal with the di making the render system capable of handling dynamic data. Now, I'm not going to start off with the modified quite yet, because what I actually want to see first is when I insert or remove a render state, does it work as expected, basically. So here I am in the main application, in the main loop of the application, and I'm going to be adding some more... Uh, like, I already have some test stuff for exporting data sometimes, whatever. So I'm just going to add on some more stuff, which I'll only hopefully keep around for during the implementation and testing stages, and then I'll remove it before I commit all this stuff. So, <clears throat> first, if const expression... No, not const expression. I'm just going to do something based on the frames. So I have in the main loop, I have like a counter for all the frames. So as long as the frame's not the first one and frame uh, every 80 frames, what I'm going to do is I'm going to either insert a component, a render state components data, if it's not in it or the reverse. So like if it's already in there, take it out. If it's not in there, put it in. So. Uh, oh, render state data equals blah and a static boolean in pool equals it always starts in office true. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the data that's from the render mesh B, I think, and work with that. Entity uh, result equals fo ECS name map find name no find find ID based on render. Sorry, no, I need to pass in the simulation set entity name map. There we go, and then I pass in the name, which is render mesh B, I think, and I get back the entity if result dot value. It's not success, then uh, abort. Not going to be dealing really with this. I just like this is just test code, so I don't really care too much about aborting here. Um, render state pool. I need to get the pool out of the um. from the simulation. Get component pool, which is from P simulation set, what I'm calling it. And I want to get bow, bring up structure type render state pool. Thank you. Render state pool is that abort. Simple enough. Then I get to the interesting bit, which is if in pool, so if it's in the pool right now, then I want to um, two things. I want to make I want to copy the data locally so that I can put it in later and then remove it. Oh ECS component pool ID pointer from from that, equals p start ID plus for CS component pool size of render state pool. Now, of course, this is definitely something I want to start. Um, 
I really do need some kind of function to be able to abstract this a little bit for, for, for searching this stuff. I think maybe, I mean, it's, I mean, if it's explicitly out here, it's kind of, I don't know yet. Oh, render state. That's the point. I don't know. Const star e render state data equals OECS component pool data pointer. Get that out. PID equals lower bound between P start ID and P end ID. We're looking for empty. If the ID equals P end ID. So we, if we didn't find it, that's bad. Or the ID not equal entity. Otherwise, I need to get stored. Uh, sorry, just date. Yeah, I'm going to rename it stored data equals. Uh, point to P render state data plus the ID minus P start. So that's start. It's actually offset by that much into the thing. That should be good enough. And then OECS component pool remove. Entity, not that pool. Okay. Otherwise, um, on a pool insert entity, and we're just passing in stored data. And in pool equals not in pool. Okay. So if this works as I hope it does, one of the meshes should just start like every 80 frames be insert or added and removed from being rendered. If, 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 if. Yeah, okay. Great. So there's that. Now, next, uh, what I want to do is... What I want to do is I want to try modifying the same thing every... No, on a, different, on a slightly different cadence, every 40 frames or so. So that's... So this is the... Um, Insert, move, and then I'll create another one, which is like every 40 frames, so just under a second, where it's going to be something similar, um, modify, okay, now, hmm. for this one, I need a, it has to be inside of it, maybe, Static uh, for ECS entity list. So null handle. <clears throat> then I need to do. I need to grab this. I'm gonna grab that. Under mesh B, same thing. Entity name map. Okay, result value. I'm going to grab the render state pool as well. And then I need to, if the entity list is that, then what I'm going to have to do is create it. 
create entity list, which is that. We'll do that. And then we'll have to, we'll, um, Component pool add entity list. We'll add it to the render state pool. That similar thing for result. Then what I want to do is if basically the same as this standard board. Um, not quite a board though because if it's working on the same entity then it may or may not be in the pool so i want to be able to handle that case as well yeah so this will handle both cases where it's both in and in outside if pid not equal p end id and star pid equals entity then I want to swap the meshes. The, the, that's what that's the thing I'm going to do. So fo entity no resource ID mesh one, mesh two. What I want to do result equals ECS name map find ID. So similar thing, but P simulation set. I want to be based off the resource name map. It's going to be test mesh. Mesh one. Same thing here. Same thing here, but for test mesh two, mesh two. Okay, and then what I want to do is if um, equals p start plus p id minus p start. If p render state data mesh equals mesh one, and swap it out to so it's not const for one thing. Sorry about that. This is const, however, this is not. Um, p render state data mesh equals mesh two. And then otherwise it goes the other way around. Then I want to add that I want to reset um, the entity list with the list of entity entities, which this system or this in this case this one this pseudo system kind of thing. I'm pretending this is a system. Um, modified. So, um, ECS reset entity list, which is the entity list. I've got a list count of one. I got, oh, you went 32 T. There's one and equals end of entity like that. So we'll pass this through and p entity list like that. Okay. That'll reset that. That's great. Otherwise, I don't want it to be modified every frame. So I just want to have that hit when it changes. So if it's not this, then reset it. 
So this will be zero. No pointer. No pointer. Ooh, this needs to be outside then. Like that. Okay. So how would that how does how that how would that work right now? I don't know, let's find out. I mean it shouldn't modify because this is this there nothing's paying attention to this entity list right now. So nothing should be happening. Um I attempted to Right. Else if entity list not equal so null handle it needs to exist first if I'm actually going to do this. Okay, well, it didn't change the mesh to the to the box one, but it's doing something funky. Like, why would it just like invert? That's very strange. I mean, nothing should be paying attention to this. I mean, is it because is anything actually? Whoop. Yeah. Right. Nothing. Nothing's paying attention to this. Okay. Uh, where do I even use this? All right. Okay. Okay. I think. Yeah, mesh. Key mesh, bones. Okay. So it's the arm, the animation system is running. It's literally pulling all the information fresh every um, frame, like the render system used to do so. So what's happening is, I guess the, the, the armature, the skeleton for the two different meshes is like inverted somehow. Or backwards. So, like, while it's not changing the um, the render mesh, it is changing the armatures, thus like contorting it in the other way. The, the you know whatever, however it's supposed to go, look like the other way on the other thing. So that's what's happening right now. So I can uh, I can live with that for now because I'm expecting this. Um, now I know what's going on, which is a bit weird, uh, but. With that said, now I actually need to pay attention to the entity list, entity, yeah, the entity list in the render system. So, I uh, will do that, this here, hmm. What I, okay, it's going to have to happen in the processing system here. So what happens first is you remove objects that you're not going to be paying attention to, remove, and then, okay, so between, after removals, but before insertions, because insertions are going to be inserting fresh data anyway. So it was, if it was modified, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Just skip it and let the insertion do the full thing afterwards anyways. So uh modified render state is so how I'm gonna work with it. So size t const to the list count equals so ECS component pool and to the size of render state. Render state pool, okay, great. And yes, entity list on star p lists. 
gonna pull a D list, D render system, render state pool, that's great. And then I just wanna iterate through them, I guess. Oh, sorry, size T. Okay, so we're on this one. We're going to have to go through um, the ID const star the modified ID equals ECS entity <sighs> list pointer size no pointer and then On star const the end modified the modified plus for ECS and the list size of the list that's great so get rid of the other T and to T one heck of a misplaced T there um Mm hmm, state ID, P and and that. Mm, no, it'd be this, just from the regular pool. That's what we're going through. Down here. Now I'm sure there's another way I can probably amortize these different entity lists, do it at once instead, maybe? But not quite there yet. I'm just going to do them one at a time. I'm sure, like, maybe I'll parallelize them somehow or do some kind of fancy something or other later. But not not today. Uh, so the start render ID equals that. I want to base it off a start. I think I do. I think I need to have a start. So that equals that. That, okay. Then I need a pointer to the start of the data section. OECS data pointer. Interstate pool, great. I had the little C plus plus flare for casting. Okay, then auto render uh, data iterator equals p render system render data dot begin. Do I am I am I removing something? I might have to remove items if yes i may have to remove render data items if through the modification the you know the new state the new render state is not loaded for whatever reason or is just not usable at all for again whatever reason so i can't do like a const end render data iterator it has to be dynamic ah <sighs> so while we're just going to go launch right into the loop E modified ID not equal P and modified ID. I'm gonna rip right through them. Render data iterator equals standard lower bound of render data iterator. P render system. So I want to go to the end. And I need custom function to actually do that. Um, turn object on entity is less than entity, I think. Okay. No, maybe not. 
No. Hmm. Is it the other way around? Maybe. Um. Invalid operands, a binary expression. Return star iterator val, less than val. Oh, I'm missing the um, the thing I'm comparing for, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Just, yeah, yeah, okay. If render data iterator equals p render data, p uh, render system render beta dot n, if it, it reached the end, that means like no more modified things in the future can possibly modify anything because we've already reached past the end. So, just break, break out. Let's do that. Uh, what's the next case? If uh, star p modified id not equal render data iterator and to t, that means the thing we modified isn't in here. So we'll leave it to be dealt with on the insertions if. If that's the case, it may not even exist at all in the um, pool anymore either. Actually, that's okay. That's also a possible case. I have to be careful of that. I, I mean, I could just add random entity IDs and they may not actually exist there. So whatever. But whatever the point is, it's not in the render data. I don't I don't care about it in this case. So I'll just in that case. Uh, increment passed and continue. Didn't. Can be processed. Um, right, yeah. Okay, so otherwise we're at p renders state id equals. Okay, now we do a lower bound of this between p render state id. So this render state id will move forward, throw, uh, you know, um, slimming down, shrinking the search area, and render state id. Uh, star p modified id if p render state id the end render state id if we reach the end of this then how do I get out I could just break out right yeah then I could just break out or yeah, I could just break out. And reach the end of the items of the component pool. Leave. Okay. Otherwise, we should at this state have ah, whatever. Wait, no. If p render state id, yeah, I need to make sure that p render state id actually equals if star p render state id 
not equals star p modified id then i need to increment the modified id and continue out it may have been left over and removed since the entity list was set reset or created or whatever so just leave it like that um otherwise that means I found the render data iterator has the same thing, and I've found the state data matches. So at this point, render state data star p render state equals uh, p star render state data plus render state id minus p star render state id. So we do that little offset trick again here. What I want to do is I want to get render data. Um, right. This is got that. We got the. Why am I passing the entity in? Okay, let's just say star p modified id. And I'm passing in p render state. And I'm passing in uh, the render data iterator to modify it, to update it with the new content. So that means I need to, oh yeah, I don't really handle that well at all, do I? In fact, I don't handle it at all. Hmm. Okay. Add cases where resources are not found. Add cases where render state doesn't have data for the entry. Those are both going to happen right now. So, vertex descriptor. This is going to change. This is going to become uh, a reference to p render data vertex descriptor. And I need to do something where I say check if the we already have and let's see. yeah an associated resource the desired one release it so if Vertex descriptor not equal foe null handle and foe resource get id get id of the resource. So yeah, this is the resource itself, not the resource. Vertex descriptor not equal to p render state vertex descriptor we're going to do something here where we're going to just uh we're going to do the thing where we folk um do this decrement the use count decrement the ref count we're out of here great we're going to do that for these other ones too um If the content, so I'm just removing selectively removing items I don't need, and then now I need to check like if mm, the render state the vertex descriptor not equal to null handle. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And vertex descriptor equals pro null handle. Then I'm going to do this. Like that. I'm going to, for the moment, keep this the same. So yeah, if I have associated resources and it's not the correct one, free it. Okay, hold on. Free it. You know, decrement the use, decrement the reference, release it, reset this, and then say, okay, if I'm supposed to have something and I don't have something right now, then I need to find it and get it used. And then I just have to repeat this a couple more times. So, all right. We do that and that. So this is for bone, 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 bone. So this is a very easily uh, templatable thing that I'll probably do shortly. Material. Mm -hmm. And then finally mesh. This is going to, this is no longer this. This is the only use case, use I had of entity, I believe. So I'm going to get rid of that in a moment. That's what I want to do. Mesh, 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 mesh. Okay. So these are just doing that. For, uh, modifying this directly. So what I want to do is get rid of entity. I want that to be set before you enter here. So what's going to happen is here, this is going to equal, sorry, dot entity equals star p render state id like that. Get rid of that. Okay. And down here, I presume it's the same kind of thing. So this Like that, that's gone. Great, and that means I no longer need this here either. Okay. So back to this point. Uh, this is void. I have that. I'm not returning whether or not... Yeah, it's still void for the moment. Okay. Okay. So now I need to do the load state which is this. Let me see how I do this. So this is a modify. This is something that already exists. So if it's loaded, I don't need to insert it. I don't, I don't need this case at all. I can just leave it as is because I modified it in place. Fantastic. Whoop. If it was unloaded, then I want to emplace this content on the back of that. And then I want to erase it. from the render data list for the moment because it's not it's not uh it's in the process of loading still so render data erase data iterator just that one thank you very much 
Then I leave. Otherwise, uh, this is the other case, which is if load state equals fail, load state fail, then I need to clear the render data, which is being done this way. Great. And then I need to do this again. I remove it from that. We're done with it. So then at this point, if we're doing this, that means we want to modify increment p modified, increment p render state id as well. We've processed that, though, both of those correctly. We're, we're done here. Okay, let's see how that breaks. Okay. It doesn't break, and it's actually properly... Yeah, see that um, with uh, using the correct model that goes along with the armature, now it's actually like the um, animation was responding uh, as expected correctly. So it's probably just like the armature is like inverted somehow uh, compared to the one between the two. So whatever, whatever, whatever. It's done. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, obviously, yeah. Okay, uh, next little thing in here is I want to change up the load state to, ah, for the moment, handle if um, you render data set vertex descriptor will equal full null handle. I'm just going to assume that could be just like this. So equals that. Boned one. Whoop. Material. And then finally mesh. So if there's no actual data here, it'll still go through and uh, the loading process. Because I haven't, I don't really have in place like any rules for I need to have everything or not yet. I don't have enough data to implement that at the moment either. <sighs> okay. Right, so with the entity list and modifications and that funky business all happening, happening, now is the point where I uh, move on to implementing or integrating the position pool. So uh, what I want to do is I want to replace the current position descriptor pool, which every frame literally goes through all positions, whether or not they have an associated... Um, I'm pretty sure I'll... Let me actually double check first. Uh, it just, yeah, it literally just iterates through position data and puts them all into a uh, descriptor. It puts it all into memory, uh, graphics, viewable, visible memory, creates descriptors for all of them every single frame, whether or not there's an associated render data, state, content, whatever, which obviously isn't going to scale at all. So, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit in a temporary fashion what I already have here, minus, I don't actually want this. So what I want to do is do unstage that. I'll put that in separately as a little thing that I can, uh, as a separate commit that I can drop later. For the moment, simulation, render system, great. I have the render system here. Is there anything crazy I want to avoid? That's going to be modified eventually, but it's fine. Render system, this is the initial render system as it is right now. That's okay. Okay. 
I don't actually need this here. That's good. Render system. So this is the this is the modifications here. Let me actually make a few modifications here. So I'm just gonna do this as a reference. Oh no 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 no. I'll just leave it like that. I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. That's fine. So what's happening here? I set up the vertex descriptor based on whether it's boned or not, and it has an associated in the render state right now armature bone descriptor set. Armature. I should really change this from bone to armature. I really prefer armature to bones or skeleton. What? Let me actually double. What is the difference between those words? Let me double check. Okay, so according to Blender, it's an armature. And, well, I'm just going to use the Blender thing because this is probably where I got it from originally. An armature and Blender can be thought of as similar, as similar to the armature of a real skeleton, and just like a real skeleton, an armature can consist of many bones. These bones can be moved around, and anything that and anything that they are attached to or associated with will move and deform in a similar way. An armature is a type of object used for rigging. Um, it's like a, marionette puppet i guess like so like it's like um, like an armature is also like the skeletal frame that you do like for sculptures like the, the core skeleton i'm just going to use armature because it sounds better than skeleton to my mind it just fits better with what i'm thinking of so whatever um where was i so that i have that and this okay so i'm going to commit this as This it needs to be updated to 2023. Let's do that. Work in progress. Um, yeah, that. So that's that. Now I'm going to start adding position stuff. So let's just kind of, let's just, let's just go. Let's just go for it. Render system, render system, render system. I need to include, oh, it's not one of those. It's uh, much simpler, isn't it? So position component 3D pool.h, that. We're going to have render state. We're going to have position 3D pool, position pool. Got that. We'll add it about down here. Fantastic. Almost. Add it to here. Position pool. I need to include The actual component itself, not just the pool declaration. Um, so got that. I need to go down here. I need to if or position pool is missing. Null, I should say. Render system position pool position pool, and the opposite on leaving. So p render system. Position pool equals foe null whoop foe null handle. Great. Okay. So how am I going to organize this? It's going to have to be something similar to this or like where I have several buffer allocations, but also associated with a descriptor pool and content, or, and, or, I should say, uh, the, the view pool I did a little while back, or which is sitting here. So this would be, uh, but the th like this is kind of sharing some of the ideas because it's going to have like the positions are all of uh, preset size. 
of 64 bytes, 16 by floats, you know, four by four floats, a matrix, four by four matrix, a float. So this is similar for that reason, but uh, I don't really feel like it's a good idea to have, um, because the thing is, this is all pre-allocated at the creation. You know, I know how many views I'm going to be able to support, so I create everything all at once. The the initial buffer, uh, the 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 CPU buffer, the GPU buffers, and the render views, which are like the descriptor sets and descriptor pool all together. I don't think I think I can do that because it may it's going to fl possibly fluctuate from frame to frame, and I don't want to have I want don't want to allocate on the GPU all three frames. Of a larger size, and then an even larger size, and then an even larger size, all while, while running through each frame. Because then I could have like, if every if it's increasing every frame, then I'm going to have like three times as much me used memory than I actually need. Not to mention like the initial CPU buffer. So this isn't. I'm going to take a lot of ideas from this. I'll put it off to the side. Actually, no, I'll just kind of keep it up here. I'm, I don't need it quite yet. Um, buffers, descriptor pools. I'm going to need these. I'm also going to need the minimum uni uh, uniform buffer. Yeah, because this is a uniform data. Right. So... What's also going to have to, how do I, like, I could do like with the render view pool where I just say, hey, you know, get me an offset. Like I allocate offsets uh, or, or um, I, I allocate views. Yeah. But that's, as I process things, that's going to. If I do that, that can get like a lot of data memory. It can get fragmented is the point. Or like it's going to start jumping around. If I'm updating things in a, in a linear fashion. So if I'm processing like I do here when I modified. So it's uh, instead of modifying a render state, I'm modifying. I'm checking what's modified positions. I would do that in like from le smaller, uh, least ID to greatest ID, typically. So as I do that, I don't want to start flipping backwards and forwards through memory. If I can help it. Plus, um, Yeah, especially like if I really increase in size and then I have like a, a position, like if I have, if I really increase the size, let's say I have a million objects, theoretically. Worst case, I have a million objects. So like I have a pool that's a million large and then I decrease that down to two, right? And... Like if I have like, if the, those two objects are at the very beginning of that pool and at the very end of the pool, then like, and, and because I allocated them, then like, I can't really move things down without having to re basically go through and like, not just if it's two, like what if it's shrunk in half and there's like a whole, and they're like split up all over the place. Like, you know, memory's fragmented. Then like, I would have to if I want if I want to actually compact things down, I would then have to go through. I would have to go through all the render data again and like free it all and then reallocate it all or something to that matter. No, 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 no. Like I'm, and that also like brings me, at least for the moment, I'm thinking like maybe if there's more complex system where things are segmented in a different way. But for now, it's not segmented in a different way. It's segmented like this. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do the kiss. Keep it simple. Keep it super simple. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have basically another parallel. Um, I'm going to parallel with whatever like the render state, a render data list is. I'm just going to have like one to one matching for the moment. And I'm going to move content forwards and backwards in a contiguous compacted list for the moment. So to do that, I need a few things. First off, render data. Uh, afterwards, I'm going to have a void star e position CPU buffer. I'm going to call it for the moment. Size T position CPU buffer size. And then I'm going to need on a per whatever basis. Like a render something like this times fo graphics buffer frames times that, which is included from type depths for the moment. Again, I've got to change that out to be mod uh, dynamic, but. When I have a struct up here, it's going to be based on this position GPU data, which is local to this for the moment. And it's going to have a few things. It's going to have... <sighs> what is it going to have? Size B. If... The position buffer is going to increase or decrease in size then i can probably do the same thing on a per frame basis as i iterate through these bits of data i'll increase and decrease based on the per frame requirement i guess what i'm going to say so size count capacity i capacity not in bytes Capacity number of items, positions it can hold. Uh, VK buffer. We have BMA allocation, allocation, alloc. Let's call it alloc. Uh, descriptor pool. This descriptor pool is only going to be based on. It's going to be the same thing as the buffer in that. It's basically going to increase and shrink with the buffer capacity changes i think i'm not sure maybe i can no because if i'm reallocating the buffer then the descriptors become useless anyways i would have to rewrite all of them anyways so i may as well just you know uh resize with it And then we have a pointer to the actual allocated descriptor sets from that descriptor pool, which is the same number as the capacity. So what I can do is I can pass this out and then you have like a one-to-one -one with the render data. As you increment through the render data, you can increment through this list to get the positions. And we know all rendered items will always have a position. Well, under the current circumstance, it's always going to have a 3D position. I'm not going to bother with more complex items quite yet. So include UK mem alloc for that. And then I need a few items. Void clear position GPU data. I'm going to need the graphic session. Uh, so that's something I'm going to need. Render system. So 
So we got that. We're gonna. I don't actually. Oh no, it will be here somewhere. So we'll get that. On this side, I need to include the VK specialization of it. So, free P data descriptor sets. Sorry, not fault. PK null handle. Got that. We'll do e data descriptor pool. Got that, and we do the same thing for if p data buffer. I'll handle. Okay, and uh, I need to create, I guess I'll do BK result for the moment. Create data, so this means I need graphic session, size T is for Count capacity, I'll call it. Um, and then that it's not const, we're going to be writing to it if we're successful, if we succeed. Make sure it starts blank. Uh, right, this is where I start copying stuff. Allocate. No, no, I need to, up here will be the create stuff. So buffer CI and the allocation CI. Oh, the gra graphics buffer. That's great. This is capacity. Ooh, the minimum buffer alignment. I need to grab that. How do I get that? Hmm. Okay, well actually that's something I need to do anyways. I need to... Grab that. If... Is there any other data I can think of I'm going to need from this? Frame buffer count? I don't think so. No, because I'll just do it dynamically from the moment. Okay, we got that. We're going to do graphic session. I don't actually have a thing in here for the graphic session quite yet. So resource pool, this, this. So this is non-graphic stuff. This is graphic stuff. Do, 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 do. Graphics related stuff. This is not graphic. Yeah. Technically, I'm only I'm do only doing this after I have Ugh. 
Get out of here. This way. Okay, we're doing it that way. Let's add that to the end. Mm hmm Okay, so first off, deinitialize. This is deinitializing via graphics, so I want to do the graphics stuff first. Right. I think so. Something like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I need to go through... Wait, oh, did I add... Pos I added position, right? I did. And yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm still going to have to go through four... Range T I equals zero, I is less than oh, max buffer frames. We can roll through each of the, these. Clear position GPU data. Uh, system. Graphic session. T render system. GPU data plus I. Just iterate through that. I mean, that's mostly going to be empty for now. And then we leave. I did do... Right, I haven't done this yet. Capacity equals capacity. Oh, the minimum buffer alignment. Oh! Right. Graphics initialization. So I need to do this is where I'm going to get this stuff at the moment. I'm going to say, hey, this is the minimum equals. Const expression that the position data size. Equals size of VLM map four. So I'm going to have to do that here, anyways. So this equals capacity. No, not quite yet. I need to get. That device properties. This is just filling that out. So that's I don't have to do anything about that. This equals C position data size. Otherwise, if that's greater than that, that, that becomes that minimum buffer alignment. So this becomes T render system minimum buffer alignment. This or this. Okay. This is a UN32, or it should be. So that. Okay. So I passed that in. So I need the graphics session, the capacity. I need to pass in the data size, data capacity, data
alignment. I'll call it an alignment. Alignment capacity. So it's capacity times alignment. It's also great, whatever. So rolling back down to the creation of the pool of the buffer, allocate render views. So that's not what I'm looking for. Here it is. So we're just doing the one. We don't have to do quite so much crazy stuff. So VK result equals that. This equals new data dot graphic session. We do this if We'll go to this. I don't quite have yet, but it will be existing in one second. Okay. So that's that. I got so that's covered, that's covered. Now I need to create a descriptive pool and allocate the sets. So <clears throat> I'm not quite going to do this quite yet. I need to actually create the descriptive pool where I uh, haven't done that yet. Well, I did it first. Okay. Okay. Um, strange, but okay. So descriptor pool size equals uniform buffer times that time. Okay. Not quite that. We'll kind of put that in a subscope. This in a subscope as well, except I need VK results to actually exist. It has to go through at least one case before it can reach down here anyway, so that that's still good. So ah, uh, the point of this really is to also do that. Right, do that. So we can kind of isolate these bits a, a little bit better on the stack. This becomes times what? Capacity? Just capacity. It should be UN32T. Okay, cool. So this becomes that as well. Pool size count. I'm only creating one. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. We create the script of pool like this. Graphic session. That. New data. About that. Same thing here. We're going to do this. And then other finally, uh super sets. With a memory offset of yeah. So that this 
script set allocate info. So this becomes new data dot script pool with projection view layout of ooh right. What are these? I don't want to pull them every time. They are preset. So position descriptor pool. Show me your secrets of these two. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I need to in here. I got the buffer alignment, and then I want to set the vendor system position. Layout render system position um binding. Go down here somewhere. No, it's not that, is it? It's something else. Is it? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Where is it? Ah, yeah, it isn't. It's this. So we get those. Great. We're going to pass those through into this. Layout and binding, so that's going to become end of that. Didn't need it until this point, anyways. So got that, and then for um, wait, I I okay. First off, actually, new data dot. P descriptor sets equals malloc. These would all be null. It doesn't matter. I don't have, actually have to destroy them one at a time. So yeah. So DK descriptor set star malloc of capacity times of DK descriptor set. Like that. If P, oh yeah, so I do want to return um, a full, full result type. If this is null pointer, then I need to um, Results equal so hmm. Sure, that uh, this result equals. Uh, let's not quite do that, shall we? I do have results. Oh, sorry, bring up. If that and that, well, if that. 
if dk result not equal dk success because only one of these is going to be bad so i, I want to just convert it to uh result equals dk who result full result of dk results and then work based off of that one so include dk results like that and return that one instead okay I was here uh, equals to full result of full bring up out of memory. Go to this point. Okay. You know what? Just make it easy. Okay. So I'm here, otherwise I can do this. This will be of the size I require. So then I need, yeah. <clears throat> so, for u int pi equals zero, i is less than capacity, plus plus i, we're gonna go through and we're gonna allocate all of these. So. I need star in the original buffer, right? Do I have? This is a GPU. Yeah, yeah, from here. So this is. Sorry, what is going on here? What am I doing here? Times view count. I'm doing p p buffer. What am I doing? Set the pointer to the simulation data buffer. This is a CPU buffer, right? No, this is the GPU buffer. Oh, right. <clears throat> because I, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need that. I just need this and this binding into right set binding descriptor count descriptor type with the buffer info being the offset and the range. With the buffer info, P yeah, dot buffer. Okay. Huh. Oh man. Right, I'm going. I swear, I'm going to get it. One of these days. So start off with this. Great, fantastic. So range equals C uh, position data size. The offset is from is zero plus so it's actually like what i times min alignment right it's that uh what's the uh, layout of this where's buffer go it's first okay So I can actually move this here. I don't need to recreate it every time. I just need to set offset. That equals that. That's great. Um, then I need to do the right set, which is the buffer info, which is basically the same thing again. This is just binding. Great. Sets, which is for graphics we can get device of graphics 
selection from with the allocated info. So set AI, the number of sets. Wait, hold on. I'm only doing one at a time, right? I'm not doing a whole array of them. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not... Hmm. New data dot descriptor sets i and of that. If that, then we leave. Oh, right set equals destination set. What's this do? So it's part of this. So it's destination set. What am I? I'm allocating, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm allocating first, and then I'm doing right set. Okay. Jesus. One day. One day. So I allocate buffer first. Great. Then I'm getting the buffer info and the destination set equals the set I just allocated, which is this. Okay. <laughs> and then I have to take VK update your sets. There you go again with this. This is not quite as optimized as I would want it to be, but it's a lot better than uh, nothing. I don't have any copies. I don't know how to deal with copies right now. So this is a void. Yeah. So at the end of that, I should have on each frame that I'm doing this stuff. So now what's going to happen is a very, very rudimentary position thing. So pool, um, under data modified, or false. This is going to be set anytime I insert or remove from the render data. This is going to happen. So that begin and end erase. Erase, erase, replaced, okay. Is that all of them? Did I miss? I think I missed one, didn't I? Uh, this is the awaiting stuff, right? Check if render state content matches what we're waiting on. That, a... That's true. Okay, this is where I also need to do uh, that kind of cool business where I'm checking uh, when I get the render state like this. And I need the render state 
data. Cool. Make sure it's up to date, release it if it's not, then check the load state. Okay. Nice. So let me stage that at least to the last thing. Um, render data, render data, erase, done. Picks up. Done, done. Insertions. Inserted. Oh, I missed one here. Wait, no, that's... Oh, whoops, I put it on the wrong one. That's the waiting list. No, no, no. Okay, then. At the end of this. Now... CPU hmm. buffer. I need to make sure I'm just I'm just mucking around in the CPU buffer right now. I am not. Hmm. 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 Yeah, this stuff would be mostly... A lot of this stuff would actually be done only... Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is kind of in the wrong spot, but I'll do it anyway. Size T. Um, I already have... No, I already have a size of the position data. Required capacity equals P render system render data dot size. If P render system. Oh, it has to be that. Right. Okay, peer render system position uh, CPU buffer size capacity. We we'll have to rename it to that. Number of objects, not based on the capacity. Buffer item capacity. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be like a bit more explicit to say like it is item capacity, not capacity in byte size. Okay, item capacity. If this is less than by capacity. Then I'm going to have to do well, like required capacity times the render system of minimum buffer alignment. Great. Bring up. Error out of memory. I can just return from this point. I think. Read the old one. Position CPU buffer. Okay, we're done with that. If render data modified and we're gonna end this. If then I have to up the top. Otherwise we're doing 
this where we're going to have to For the moment, I'm just going to copy the data from, yeah, yeah, yeah. First iteration, draft, always rough. Render system, render data dot begin. Fantastic, fantastic. So it's the ID. Position ID equals than that, great. Do I need this? No, I don't think so. Const star equals p position whoop plus fo ecs size position pool Uh, fo position 3D. That this is this is different, isn't it? This is um a pointer point. It's a double pointer. Like that, yeah. Const star const like that. ECS comes data pointer. Which some, this is something I got to change because I don't need the indirect pointer thing anymore because I'm dealing with things. And because well, why did I do this in the first place? The idea was I would be able to have like if uh, I would have direct pointers to position data to both read and write, but that would have been messy, messier than this. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've got to change that, but not now. Not not today. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Void star. E. CPU buffer. C data P data equals P render system P position the CPU buffer and this is going to have to increment by a certain amount so while render data iterator I know it's I know it's of required size because I just did it and render and render data iterator so while we do that DLM at four P matrix the matrix equals P data. Enter that. That points to that. I'm going to assert star P position ID equals enter data iterator entity. Just for my own sanity right now, then um, uh, 
position, 3D on star, the position data equals star, the position data. And then what I want to do is, no, I'm not going to, no, that's too confusing, too confusing. Star P matrix equals, I would have this already, wouldn't I? Equals these. Equals that times that. You put those in, and then what's going to have to happen after this point is I'm going to have to increment render data iterator. Increment uh, p position id, increment pp position data pointer, and that's it. So, I every t only when there's a modification here will I actually redo this rather than literally every frame. So, that's one step of improvement. I need to return a list of. I include that no i can do that here so yeah I need a frame. I need the frame index. Um, I also need to do that here, right? Yeah, I still need to do that. Um, frame index. Oh, sorry, not uh, initialization. It's on the system. Okay. <laughs> Great, we do that. We're going to do all of this stuff. Update the position buffer if necessary. But what does happen every frame is me copying the data to the new buffer. New CP buffer. Yeah, every time every time so this i can do where is it update render view pool like this yeah yeah update the current gpu buffer let's go mem copy unmap memory and then get out of here okay yeah yeah So this is frame index. So it's not this, it's p render system with position GPU data frame index. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. That, that, that. P mapped data. What am I doing? No, CPU, buffer, which is the render system. Position that times that. This is dot buffer, right? Dot buffer, okay. This is unmapped memories with the allocation instead. The allocation. 
allocation. Okay. What does this actually take in the allocation? This takes in the allocation. Copy all that data over to that frame index and get out. And then I need to pass out the data. And becomes current key render system um, position CPU data times frame index dot key descriptor sets. Off you go out into the wild. Okay. Make sure that doesn't blow up. Here we go. Uh, almost. So first off, I need to actually create add the position position pool. Great. Add that to here. Position. 3D pool. Go go. And then I need the P simulation graphic session. Okay. Okay, I think so. Hmm. This is missing the Okay, then. Uh, true, 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 true. The updating of the CPU, the GPU stuff should only happen on a per frame basis. The CPU buffer needs to be updated every faster. So I need to split that up to two. I thought that was already the graphics one. That's not the graphics one. This should be... Eh, I can sleep it there. Our system graphics. Okay. Magic. Um, let's update the GPU buffer. We do not need the frame index here now. Okay, great. And then back to this. What would happen is I need to go through to the CPU next frame index. Do 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 do. If frame index not equal this, swap chain updates. Where do I? I look, then it uh, grabs the window swap chains as required, and then here we go. Update render view pool. And then the other systems. Here we go. So about here, so we would do this. Fo update system graphics with the frame index. Okay. I do have, I do clean up, right? Initializing stuff. Okay. Deinitializing. I clear the position data. Okay. F5. Let's just, okay. Nothing blows apart when we run it. Wrong. I was wrong. Interesting. I am trying to initialize this with a graphic session of no. Really? Like I am. 
Well, first of all, this is not this. At that. Secondly, what do you mean graphic session is? I'm initializing graphics, right? Yeah. Oh, hmm, interesting. I don't actually set graphic session here. Or it's not set yet until afterwards. So, okay. Strange. Dang. Okay, what's going on here? Graphic session if. Okay, so I passed in render data iterator, which is bad. Oh, yeah, 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 hold on. I did a modification to this, which was just... the wrong one. It was supposed to be this. Stage that. Fix that up. Whoops. But easily fixable. Okay, what we've got now? Mapping on a type that I presume I just don't have, or like what's going on? I'm on frame index zero, GPU data of. Ah! Okay, first. Check update current. I uh, yeah, I need to actually, if the buffer isn't of, if the GPU buffer isn't of the correct capacity, I need to create or recreate it. If um, P render system GPU data frame index dot Nasty is less than P render system CPU buffer capacity. Then I need to recreate. Um, clear position GPU buffer GPU data of the P render system graphic session. End of this. Then I need um, two for result of oh, bring up success. This is why I always have return codes. Because things get weird. Equals create position data. So graphic session, the alignment of P render system. Whoops. Alignment uh, capacity of this. Not going to do anything fancy with capacity quite yet. And then finally, render system position layout. Render system position binding. End of this. If result dot value value equals slow success. 
return results. Just return it early, I guess. Because otherwise you can't do this stuff anyways. Maybe we can do that for the moment. Cool. Why are we... If the if there's I first of all, you know, if greater than zero. If it's zero, then there's no point, right? Is that is that the problem? Hold on. Let me uh do it without it again. Like what's what exactly is the problem? I updated it. Okay. What is going on? Um, I'm not. I'm not um, setting things correctly. I create render system. It's a new render system, right? Can I do that? Will it actually like start off with empty values this time? If I do this. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay, let me double check that I'm actually setting things correctly. So if I create G position GPU buffer data, I do that. New data dot item capacity equals capacity. Okay, make sure that is set there. I want to set um was the CPU capacity which I don't think I ever actually do so equals required capacity cool and then down here I use that capacity on this which sets that up okay great so right now the render system has a capacity has a has nothing on the first time through Really? Okay. So yeah, I do want to make sure I actually have something first. Why do this? Otherwise, you know, don't try. Okay. Almost. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is true. I do remove a render state, but not the position. So these will go out of alignment recurrently. So I need to do this. I'm going to find these guys, these things. Start equals that. 
that equals that plus that. That's a start point. This is going to be plus p position i. That will increment, but finding this is not going to be quite so simple. So this, so hmm. pp start plus uh, p start position id sorry no p position id minus p start position id that okay that gets us that again we're not doing this i need to f find it um so yeah i need to do that anyways If um, the if if not that, then I want to plus this and continue. Okay. So, uh, before I go any further, build... Oh, let's see how bad memory leaks are, if any. Uh, there will have to be, because at least for the entity list, which I don't do anything about. So we got... And it's... What? Exactly. This memory allocation that I allocated and then I did... Oh, yes, true. I do not free up the... P render system... P position CPU buffer. Okay, that makes sense. Great. Oh, let me... Uh... Otherwise, what was... Was that it? What about the, um... The entity list is just not even here. I definitely do not remember ever freeing it. So color me super confused. I create... I still do that, right? I still like create um this thing is created but I never f destroy it so where'd the memory go yeah oh maybe I just didn't actually run it la uh, <clears throat> long enough for it to happen no it's I don't <laughs> I don't know. It's... I don't know. I don't... Okay, hold on. When is the destroy for it called? Because uh, this is the only use of it ever. Never called. I'm a little freaked out by this. Okay, whatever. Cool. Very interesting. Very curious. All right. Um, position data. There, I need to get that into the render. Whoops. Render graph, render scene. Okay, we're here. We want to... 
do it around up here under call. Okay, we got that. Okay, so we got two things. We got that, and we got the VK descriptor set star P. Position descriptor sets equals get position descriptor sets of render system times what's the frame index? Frame index. I don't even think I have access to it in here. No, no, I don't. Um, Okay, I need to pass it uh, via this. So camera descriptor, uh, we'll just add it to the end to T frame index. We'll add it to this, which means we'll add it to frame index. Great render stuff. This is still a, yeah, this is still a Lambda. So we'll being passed through UN32 T frame index. Great. Now what I want to do, I pass that in and then I'm going to pass plus plus P position script sets that. do this no not here it'll be here position descriptor set that's what's going to happen we're going to go all the way down to wherever i'm doing the this stuff i'm going to do that okay great I'm going to wipe this out. Possibly. Quite possibly. No, not quite possibly, looks like. Or did I just leave a comma? Got that there. And I want to do a pointer to that, please. No? Uh, give me a hint. 16 arguments for 15 were provided. Really? I just added one. Right? And I added one before the render state. What did I do? There we go. Just uh, in the wrong location. And then in here, I need to do all this comma frame index. Sorry, frame index. Not quite the last thing. Second to last thing. Now I'm in, I'm curious if the item I'm inserting and removing is in like the last object or the middle object. Ooh, that's not great. 
At least there's one. There's one. That's cool. So we're up to... Let's make sure. So... What's going on here? Times capacity. So alignment is 64. Capacity of 3, binding of 1. Buffer info is sitting at 0, offset of 0. That's right. But only one thing is actually there. Oh, okay. I allocate the first one, I guess. That's great. Set the offset is zero times alignment, which is zero. And I'm going to do right to that set. Buffer info binding at that data with the offset of that. Okay, second one. I'm going to do the same thing. Offset of 64. F0. Yeah, yeah, so it's the second one. Okay. Ooh, something's going on there, but it's not right. Like garbage data or something like that. Did I am I writing garbage data? Is it something to do with me on the CPU buffer? Probably probably. I'm not a I'm not increasing the CPU buffer correctly. I'll bet. So do 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 do, do P data. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Plus equals um, P render system min alignment, buffer alignment. I need to increment it as if it was a uint. Okay, let's just do that, shall we? No, can't do. Right, that. Then I convert it into that. I'm going to bet it's just that. Right, nothing fancy. Just me being a little silly. Okay, now I'm curious. Entity list render mesh B2. Is, oh, B is in the middle of the pack. So this is correctly... It is happening. It is happening. So it's correct. So presumably what's happening in the render uh, data is that like the middle thing keeps being inserted and removed. Whatever the third one is keeps getting bumped up and down and the positions are following correctly. I love it. Absolutely adore it. So... If that's the case, that should mean that this should be able to go away and, 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 okay. Stage, stage this. Okay, let me, uh, okay, um, staged, yes. Uh, and then we start ripping stuff out like a mad person. No, 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 no. Not quite entirely. We're just going to remove it from registration. Um, animation system, position system. Goodbye. Not initializing you. You're never getting initialized. You you can exist. You just nothing. You're just not happening. 
So this, initialize graphics, hold on, generate position descriptors. When is this being called? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If, uh... Not initialized graphics. Return res. Okay, just don't just don't do anything. So let me. I just want to make sure that you're just never going through here, right? You're. I like it. So. Rip it out. Position descriptor pool gone. Truly a dream come true. This is gone. Where that's gone. Um, position system gone. This is going away. Position pool is gone. Great. Uh, type depth position descriptor pool gone. Okay, that means going down an application. This just gone. It's just gone. Oh, and this gone. F five. It's still working. That then also means I can get rid of that very weird thing where in the component I have this descriptor set. Oh, yes, here we go. This is the real fun stuff. So that's gone. That means the system no longer needs to pull in graphics. I thought it was pulling in graphics. How on earth was it grabbing? I don't know how it was pulling in Vulcan at all. Then I, I don't know. I don't know. But the point is, this will no longer require Vulcan stuff. Is the point, and that's going to work, and that's great. That's way better isolation. I like it. I love it. Uh, yes. Twenty-three, great. One point three, great. Great. Uh, work in progress. Integrated. Initial positions into render system. And I will leave it at that for tonight. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to like iterate on the position or I'm going to also start adding in the animation stuff into the render system to do something similar for the render state, which is holding on to the bone armature descriptor sets. But until next time, when I figure that out, cheers. <laughs>